Today, we are going to replicate the most beautiful mid-journey art there ever was, or at least try to get something similar to it. Let's go. Mid-journey has just released a new slash describe feature. So how does it work? Well, first, you're going to find an artwork that you are going to want to replicate. So I'm going to search the most beautiful mid-journey V5 art. I'm going to save this picture within my files. Then I'm going to go to a Discord channel that has a mid-journey bot. In this case, I'm going to use Emmy's Discord channel. There will be a link to join the Discord channel below. Join fast before the link expires. Then I'm going to type in slash describe, upload my photo, and give it a moment. Then Midjourney will provide you with four description that describes the photo you uploaded. I'm going to go and choose all four options to see which photos that are going to be generated. So it looks like the first photo, which is the second prompt, kind of looks like a Game of Thrones character cinematic style, or at least she has white hair, but not quite what I'm looking for. The second photo, which is the first prompt, has a mythological look, but not necessarily resembling the original photo. The third picture, which is the third prompt or description, does seem to closely match and resemble the original picture out of all of the descriptions and prompts and photos so far. We have the white hair, the crown, the colors, and the theme, the church-like background ambience we see behind the subject. It mostly resembles the description and the original photo. And the fourth picture doesn't look bad at all either, but not necessarily, again, resembling the original picture in terms of the background. The display of hands and the details, it's all missing. So it looks like we have our winner here for the photo that mostly resembles, if not replicates, the exact photo of the most beautiful AI art created in version 5. Subjectively speaking, of course. And that's it. Feel free to subscribe and follow our channel for more tips and tricks on generating AI art. See you next time.